know what the words island, isle, and isle have in common? It's the silent S. This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. And today I'd like to talk to you about the silent S because uh, a lot of my students, when they w uh, read the word I-S-L-A-N-D, they uh, pronounce the S. Uh, but there are a couple of words in English where the S isn't pronounced. Uh, and so island is one of them, the island where Robinson Crusoe used to live. Uh, then there is also isle, as in the British Isles, which is a group uh, usually of islands. And then there is isle, A-I-S-L-E, which is a narrow corridor between two rows of seats or a series of rows of seats, such as in a church or in, a, in an airplane. That's the isle. In all three of these words, island, isle, and isle, the S is not pronounced. So that's something very important. You mustn't pronounce the S. Also, any words of um, French origin, such as bourgeois, which ends in an S, or uh, apropos, which also ends in an S, none of these words uh, should have the S pronounced. So that's very important. Please don't pronounce the S, and remember, it's a silent S. There aren't many words, but the S should not be pronounced in any of these words. You might have noticed that I've tried to change the video quality and I'm trying to improve. Therefore, I'd really appreciate it if in the comments box below you could leave your opinion on it and tell me if you find it's better than it was before. That's all then. I hope you found this information useful and please remember to subscribe. Bye!